process, as you can say, is extensive because we start now to make sure that we have enough food for Thanksgiving. What we're doing today is just prepping. Our Thanksgiving community dinner started in 2010 when we saw a need to serve in our community. That year we served between 25 to 30. Last year we served 3,000 meals. In Chesapeake, I found out that there were no soup kitchens open on Thanksgiving Day. So I got with my mom and we was like, yeah, we could do this. So we started serving. It would be 13 years this year for Thanksgiving. It's family and friends. It's a total of about 20 of us and we get in here from that Sunday up until Thanksgiving Day. We're prepping and getting meals ready for for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. It's a three-day process now. We deliver meals out to senior communities and to those that are in need of a meal on Thanksgiving Day that are residents of Chesapeake. So help with start. We would start needing volunteers on that Sunday, November 20th. Um, we would start at 12. From about 12 to 5, we would start prepping. And there on for till Thanksgiving Day. We would be delivering meals from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer, prep work, delivery work, and clean up. They can go to um, info at buffalofamily.org. That's our, that's our email address. Or they can call 757-739-5222. But we're collecting anything, turkeys, ham, stuffing, yams, um, vegetables, anything that you think you will have at your Thanksgiving table, that's what we serve. Yes, we always need donations. Um, because we not only serve on Thanksgiving Day, we serve all through the year. So we serve um, Monday through Friday from 10 to 3, and we have a delivery service in the Chesapeake area for our senior complexes. So we're always needing product in our pantry.